Welcome to the second video of the Gen 3 KLR build. In this video, we're going to focus mainly on maintenance, but we will be adding a few upgrades. Welcome back to my apartment. You may have been here before with me working on my Africa Twin or changing tires behind me in the kitchen. So, as I mentioned in this video, we're doing mostly maintenance stuff like some fluid changes. We have the doohickey chain and sprockets, a thermal bob, just a little couple upgrades here and there. But we're also going to be checking the valves, the brakes. We're just going to check everything to make sure this bike's all up to date on maintenance and ready to go. I'm going to start by draining the coolant. Also the overflow tank as well. Next, I'm going to install the thermal bob per instructions of Wattman. Up next, it's valve adjustment time. Even though this bike is two years old with 8,000 miles, I had two tight exhaust valves. Swapped out the chims and put it back together. I replaced the spark plug with a factory recommended DP8. I've also used the 9 with good success. I added some dielectric grease to the plug boot. This will help keep water out. Next, it's time to drain the oil. I'll be replacing my factory drain plug with a low profile magnetic one from Eagle Mike. Out of a dozen or so KLRs I've changed the doohickey on, 10 out of 12 had either a broken lever, broken spring, or a combination of both. In fact, one KLR had a broken spring get in between the sprocket and chain of the balancer and broke the chain. The rear brake pads look good, nothing abnormal here. I'll be replacing this factory Kawasaki sprocket with another factory Kawasaki sprocket. They seem to last the longest and the 43 tooth will suit me well. However, for my front sprocket, I'm going to drop down to a 14 tooth. I like the extra pull that the bike has. It's not a lot, but it just makes it feel a little bit better and suits my riding style. But I do have a 15 tooth if I want to return to stock, which honestly is the best gearing for all around usage of a KLR. I decided to check my wheel spokes and every single one of them was loose. so. I pulled them off and went ahead, trued my wheels, and tightened all the spokes. I removed all of the shock linkage and swing arm. That way I can add some more grease to the bearings. I know from the factory a lot of bikes don't come with enough grease, so I'm fixing that problem right here, right now. While I'm at it, I might as well do the steering head bearings as well. I added some molly paste to the brake lever pivot. The new chain is from Primary Drive. It's just a 520X ring chain. I've used a few in the past with good luck and eh, I hope I didn't make a mistake buying a more budget friendly chain. Let's go ahead and clean this dirty air filter. Disgusting. An overlooked part of motorcycle maintenance, changing the brake fluid. And to top it all off I added just a little bit of molly paste on the levers just to make them move freely. Hey listen, I'm sorry that I took so long to get this video out. It should have been out like nearly a week ago. Between a shipment that was delayed through the holiday and just doing all this stuff takes time. And of course, filming makes things even longer. But hey, we're up to date on all of our maintenance. We're ready for all the upgrades, the crash bars, the luggage, uh, and other things. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's all sitting behind the camera here, ready to install actually tomorrow. But you'll see that video later. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.